Welcome back to a new video. Today, I wanna to make something for Scissor. I've been seeing a bunch of stuff about her on social media and it just kind of reminded me how good her album Control was. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So I have some chords in mind. I'm gonna find a very smooth, soft pad to start off with. I wanna make this beat very airy and ambient. So those are the chords, they're very classic R&B chords. I'm gonna link in the description the video that I learned this from. So this utilizes a 251 progression, which is used all the time in R&B. It's very popular, very common. And if you wanna learn more about R&B chords, I think that's a great place to start. So first I'm gonna pitch that down an octave. I wanna just make it super low and ambient. So first of all, let's EQ the low end. Let's add a nice big reverb. Next, I'm gonna add a low high just to cut off some high end. Finally, let's add a shaper box. I wanna filter it. I use this preset all the time. Let's just do uh, half. Let's actually pitch it up a couple of semitones. So next, I've opened up the Juno. I wanna add an ARP, synthy ARP on top of it. Okay, let's try and mess around with that. And I'm gonna add a half time just to slow it down a little bit. Let's go to effect rack. I wanna just add like a cool kind of weird delay type thing. Let's try this bright and wide. And then I'm gonna add an EQ and just kind of filter everything out. And let's bring the half time below that and turn it all the way on again. I wanna add one more layer for the chords. Let's just add a Rhodes underneath it, my go-to preset. That Rhodes is helping fill a lot of the low end and kind of just filling out all the frequencies in general. I'm gonna add my usual effects to this Rhodes. I'm also gonna strum out the Rhodes a little bit as well. I'm gonna do it by hand just so it sounds a bit more natural. And let's also add a very simple reverb. So now altogether it sounded like this. I'm also gonna add a delay to the harp. So next I'm gonna add a piano. I wanna do kind of like a run towards the end of the bars. So now we've finally got the piano melody, let's add a portal to it. I just wanna make it sound different, weird. Let's add a texture in the background, maybe some birds chirping or something like that. Next, let's go for a lead, something very simple, very like a uh, repetitive melody. That sounds really cool, but I want to filter it out again and add a bunch of reverb to it as well. That's pretty good for the melody. I think what I'm gonna do is sound shift it down, bounce it all into one audio stem and then add the drums. First thing I'm gonna do is just reverse it. Let's EQ the low end out. And let's change it to generic bleeding so it's not getting all those pops in your ears. So first, let's go to Nami's kit. There's some really good snaps in here that I want to add. Next, actually, let's go to my Essentials drum kit and let's add a stabby synth bass. So these are the bass notes. I'm just going to mess around with the bounce a little bit. Just change the sound to bass number six. So let's layer the snap with a rim. So 
So for the first hi-hat, I'm just gonna add some rolls. I can hear it in my head. That's why I laid down these notes. These are the points where I could hear the rolls. Let's just copy that across and add one here as well. Let's pitch it down as well. Next, let's add a perk. Next, let's add a more simple hi-hat to get the rhythm going. Let's cut it out there. Next, let's add a very spaced out kick. I don't want to do too much with it. And in between the stabby bass, let's add a more smooth synthy bass. So the only thing that's left to do now is structure it. So let's bring this across. I wanna have the main non-reversed part for the intro. So for the intro, let's pitch it up. I think what I'm gonna do is consolidate this. I'm gonna use the pitched up version to kind of transition into the second part of the verse. So I've just pitched this up an octave. I'm gonna EQ a bunch of the low end out and just add a heavy reverb to it. Let's also take out the drums and leave the bass so it transitions nicely. Okay, so that's the beat. I wasn't too sure to start with, but I'm happy with the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.